here. This is where you can purchase. for stopping. On a trip down Chaos Lane? Picked up any seeds on the way? Hmm? Oh, I see you've decided to make the right choice. Gotta say, you've been bringing me a lot of business, and that makes old Baird one happy man. Things have been good for me, having a skilled seed hunter like you helping me out. I had a handful of great hunters, but they were all killed by some ugly monster that came out of the chaos. That's why I'm out here all by my lonesome, looking for warriors with enough guts to take on the job of a seed hunter.
get through the day safely. I hope peace will return to the city. Time for work. Down to business. This is Luxarian's very own South Station. The trains here can take you to either of two locations, the Wildlands or the Dead Dunes. The Wildlands is a vast expanse of nature, green as far as the eye can see. In the Dead Dunes, you won't find much besides sand. However, many venture out there in hopes of finding great treasure buried deep in the ruins. If you're looking to travel to the city of Yusnan, I'm afraid you'll have to use the other station. Please head to Luxarian's North Station and board the train there. The train will leave soon. It's the world as it once was, nature's last stand. Wild beasts still live and die here as they always have. It's raw in nature, red in tooth and claw, and the chaos here is just as dangerous. The people who live out here are not like the city dwellers. They're different. They don't follow the teachings of the order. And they don't want to rely on handouts either, so they strive to live off the land. A refuge for those who refuse to be tamed. Is that it? Light! The encounter is ordained. You have been led to the fountainhead, whence the chaos flows. Here you will meet the servant of fate, adorned with feathers of white. The Angel of Valhalla. Light? What just happened? I heard a voice. It said that I've been led here, and I'm supposed to meet someone. The Angel of Valhalla. What kind of voice? I didn't pick anything up on this end. A young girl, but I don't think she's close. It was more like she was speaking from the chaos itself. I just ran a search on this angel person, but it came up blank. Maybe you should ask the locals. for you. Have you ever heard of someone called the Angel of Valhalla? You must be new to these parts. There's not a man or woman here that doesn't know the Angel. The Angel of Valhalla isn't a person. It's a legendary chocobo, covered in feathers as white as the clouds. 
it's the sacred bird that only appears at the end of the world. So it's a local legend then? Yeah, a legend. At least that's what it used to be. But in recent times, many folk have seen the bird with their own two eyes. A lot of us are thinking maybe that story is true. Maybe it is, but Dr. Ghazal has been after it for years, and he still doesn't have proof that the beast is the one from legend. Dr. Ghazal? Who would that be? The famous veterinarian, of course. A prickly character with the temper of a behemoth, but he loves his chocobos. When it comes to the angel, he's the leading expert in all of the wildlands. The doctor lives up the road a bit, in the village of Canopus Farms. If you catch him in a good mood, he'll help you out. Um, maybe. Hmm. A white chocobo at the end of the world. There's nothing about this in any of the official scriptures of the Order. It's a local story and a superstition. Even if it is, someone spoke to me. The voice was real, and it mentioned the Angel of Valhalla. I want to know who it was. If you think that's what you need to do, then go ahead. You have a lead, at least. Right, a bad-tempered chocobo vet by the name of Dr. Gazal. Hmm, they said I could find him in Canopus Farms. Chocoboco! So what do these lazy, er, wonderful people have for you today? <laughs> You aren't from around here, are you? I suppose you've come to seek the wisdom of our famous Dr. Ghazal. <laughs> I wanted to ask him about the Angel of Valhalla. I knew it. Well, first things first. You have heard of our chocobo legend, right? You mean the one about a sacred white chocobo that appears at the end of the world? That's the one. Some of us call that chocobo the Angel of Salvation. Oh, how we've been praying for him to appear. The Angel is a harbinger. A signal that it's over at last. That's something to pray for? Oh yes. For the people who live out here, death is a kind of salvation. An outsider like you must find it difficult to understand. Five centuries ago, all hell broke loose and a new god took over. We became immortal against all natural laws. See, the people out here don't like that. Even gods shouldn't be allowed to change the natural order of things. Living off the land, growing our own food, surviving by our own wits, and dying when our time is up. That's what we want. And that's why the White Chocobo is a good thing. It means this unnatural life is going to be over at last. Right? <laughs> but you're welcome to believe different. We don't push our creed on anyone. At the same time, as long as you're going to be visiting us here for a while, it's right that you know our ways. For the people of the Wildlands, the White Chocobo is a sign, a herald of a special kind of salvation. Many in these lands worship Etro, the goddess of death. They pray to eventually return to her side, which in their creed is the same as ceasing to exist.
Nothing I can handle. Unfurl the wings of death. Nothing I can't handle. Unfurl the wings of death. Time to repent.
Target acquired. Wings of death. Time to repent. something? Oh, thanks a lot. If you want to learn more about the Angel of Valhalla, you should speak to Dr. Gazal of Canopus Farms. By all accounts, he's a difficult man to deal with. But no one knows more about Chocobos. Something? Oh, thanks a lot. Excuse me, do you know anything about the Angel of Valhalla? Do I? You're as smart as you look coming to me with that question. I'll have you know I am the oldest, yes, that's right, the oldest surviving student of the great Dr. Ghazal himself. First, the basics. The legendary Chocobo, the so-called Angel of Valhalla, is not a creature anyone can find just by looking for it. Except, I'm guessing you're gonna tell me that you can. Not quite, but I can tell you what the good doctor has told me. That angel is anything but angelic. It's a rough, wild beast. He deliberately seeks out his mortal foe, the Chocobo Eater. So you see, if you wish to find the white Chocobo of legend... I should find a Chocobo Eater. Precisely. I knew you were smart. Now the last sighting of a chocobo eater was in the City of Ruins. The ruins lie in grim terrain that stretches yonder to the east. But the chocobo eater is a fearsome beast. Be prepared for a fight. If you want to find the prey, seek out the predator. It makes sense. You should head east and find the City of Ruins.
ago since people first saw the angel? you with something today. Safe travels. Hello there, stranger. Welcome to Canopus Farms. My name's Garrett. Guess you could say I run things around here. What can we do for you? I've come to talk to your vet. Dr. Gazal. Ah, got it. You want to know about the Angel of Valhalla, right? Well, Dr. Gazal's your man. Yeah, well, that's what everyone tells me. He's been chasing that white chocobo for over a century now. No one comes close to his passion and expertise. It's all he cares about since his daughter died. What is it? Ah, oh, damn. I shouldn't have said anything about his daughter. It's not a secret or anything, but he really hates anybody talking about it. The doctor first came out here with his daughter. They planned to learn about the legend together. But about a century ago, she was killed while they were both out tracking chocobos. It was tragic. The doctor never really told the whole story of what happened. But after that, he threw himself even deeper into his research and work. Soon, it was all he cared about. But listen, promise me one thing, okay? I won't let on that you told me. Don't worry. Thanks. I'd appreciate it. I mean, everyone around these parts knows the story, of course, but he wouldn't like it if strangers started asking about his past. Anyway, if you're interested in seeing the legendary Chocobo for yourself, Dr. Gazal is the man you have to talk to. They say he's seen the Angel of Valhalla more than a few times, at least a Chocobo that looks just like it. Sounds like he could help. I'd bet my hunting bow on it. Well, may nature bless you. What do you mean? Uh, it's just a saying we have out here in the Wildlands. It means good luck. The vegetables they grow make perfect fodder for the chocobos. Hey, hey! Don't step on the vegetables! Sorry, I didn't mean to... It's all right. No harm done. I was only warning you. I've just planted a whole crop of Gazal seedlings. Right. Chocobo's favorite food. Yep. And our bread and butter. My name is Sarala, by the way. This is our field. My father's and mine. We've always worked it together. Nice to meet you and everything. of Valhalla. Go away. I heard you know things. The encounter is ordained. You have been led to the fountainhead whence the chaos flows. Does that mean anything to you? Great Etro's helm. Where did you hear those words? Who spoke them? A young girl. But I never saw her. A maiden's voice born on the wind. Yes. Yes, that's how I heard them too. So it would appear that she has spoken to both of us. Very well. I will share what I know. The angel is a tempestuous chocobo that lives in these plains. I myself have glimpsed the creature many times, but unfortunately I've never succeeded in capturing him. It is said whoever can break him and ride him will become his master. But 
I've long since given up hope that it shall be me. Nor me. I don't know anything about chocobos. Don't rule yourself out, young lady. You may be the one. If you're telling the truth about the voice, that is. It's true, not everyone who hears the voice is the chosen one. But rest assured, the encounter will happen. The legends tell us that the chocobo's chosen master will be led by the chocobo to a certain place. I speak of that dread edifice whence the chaos emerges, the temple of Etro herself. You mean the one built into the cliff? The very same. And deep below that sinister haven of destruction, an ocean of chaos royals, the great chaos of the stories. Hmm, what does that mean? Is it a different kind of chaos? Alas, the legends give us few details. If you wish to find an answer to that question, you will have to seek the truth in the temple. And to do that, I've got to find and tame the Angel of Valhalla. Yes, indeed. But that, let me assure you, is no easy task. I have a couple of assistants who live here in the village. Talk to them, and they can give you advice about finding the chocobo. An ocean of great chaos buried beneath a temple. Do you think it could be true? Does the Order know anything about it? No. I'd say it's likely they don't. That temple appeared here from the other world, from Valhalla itself. When it still stood in Valhalla, it was responsible for sealing away a power, the one that now consumes the world. Something inside that temple is a source, the thing that created the chaos. 500 years ago, it let loose the chaos we see now, but it seems to have been dormant since then. And no one knows why. And you think it's waiting in the temple? This great chaos, that's the source of it all? It's certainly possible. Perhaps this legendary chocobo will take you there. Or maybe it won't, but either way, someone's asking for me, and I think it's time I answer. Hi. What do you need today?
city was once built here. For a while, it was the center of all human culture. It appears the ruins here are all that remain of that time. So was that our golden age? Well, judging by the state of them, it ended a long time ago. The chaos that's destroying the world emerged right here in the wildlands. The initial flood of chaos. Redemption is yours. So this is where it began. The beginning of the end. Hey, friend. These lands are filled with dangerous beasts. What's more, a chocobo eater rampages in the east. If a chocobo predator's out there, there must be chocobos too. Oh. So, you were seeking the wild chocobo. Normally, I would warn city folk from such folly, but you look capable enough. But know if you find yourself in trouble. Return quickly to the high road. My people are there and will help. I'll just have to do what I can. Ah! <laughs> 
the wings of death.
escaped from harm, but in the outside world, a whole hour has passed already. White Chocobo. I found it. He's injured. You have to help him. Chocobo, I found it. I'll see you in the new world.
at this. Why didn't he just run away? He's torn up pretty bad. Perhaps he had to fight to protect something. It's all right, little one. I'll help you. You're bleeding heavily. We have to stop it. White Chocobo. What happened here? He needs medical attention, and fast. Right. I'll get the doctor. Yeah! Yep! Yeah. Worse than I feared. Hey, help me get him to Canopus Farms now. Yes, sir. I won't doctor. let him die. Of that, you have the word of Doctor Gizal. <laughs> Stop okay, moving around go. quickly. Hey, Hope. Do you really think that was a chocobo? Why do you ask? It might be a subspecies, but it certainly looked like a chocobo to me. Right, to me too. But the thing is, when I first saw it, I felt this weird familiarity. You felt familiar with a chocobo? Maybe you just need a friend, Light. Hey, I know what I felt. I'll follow the dock back to Canopus Farms.
I'm sorry. Dr. Gazal's in surgery right now and can't be disturbed. You'll have to wait Give here. Give some fresh water. Yeah. Okay, good. good. As I stood there, Get watching away, the doctor try to save the Chocobo's life, I knew this was no ordinary animal. Not only because of the legend, I felt a connection, as yeah. if we'd fought together. There. There, that's it. Uh, easy. But why? It made no sense. can come see for yourself. Light, what about the Chocobo? Do you want to leave without seeing how it's doing? you die. You hear me? Is he all right? His wounds are cleaned and dressed, but he's still dying. Can't you help? Listen to me. He's half-starved. If he is to recover, he needs nutrients, vitamins, protein. But no matter what we do, we can't make him eat. Is he that weak? It's not a question of being weak. He's too proud. That's the problem. We've tried everything to coax him, but he simply won't accept any food from humans. And the fool beast just glares at us. That pride will kill him. Such a stubborn bird can be none other than the Angel of Valhalla. The only human the Angel will bow to is the one he recognizes as Master. Perhaps he will obey you. Try it. Offer him this. Light. It might be the Chocobo's only hope. Try giving him that vegetable. Is this all right? Well, it looks like he recognizes you as his master. As long as we keep providing him with feed, he should recover. I say we, but of course I mean you. He will not accept help from anyone else. He has to be your responsibility and yours alone. If I do it, will he recover? I would bet my reputation on it. This is the bird of legend. You're destined to ride him to the fountainhead of the chaos. But before you can do that, the bird needs to be fed. So you said. Any hints? What kind of food should I give him? I prescribe a balanced diet of Gizal greens, quality sheep's milk, and nutritional supplements. Ask the villagers if they have any greens or milk to spare. Thanks to the doctor, the Chocobo is out of immediate danger. But, he needs more treatment before he's fully recovered. So now I have to play nurse to a giant bird. I'm telling you, it better be worth the trouble. He'll become your steed. And not only that, if the legends are true, he'll be able to guide you to the temple of the goddess and the source of the great chaos. We'll see. He'd better be useful. I was never one for keeping pets. Somehow, that doesn't surprise me. So, what are you going to do next? People here are so kind. In this village, everyone is always willing to pitch in and help a neighbor.
this coal is gone, they can't grow a new crop. Do you have any potions? My friend, we meet again. They tell me that the White Chocobo is out of danger. Yes, he's safe for now. Thanks to you. You brought the doctor just in time. Lucky for us both. I'm glad we could save that magnificent animal. Now here, I give you this gift. taken the time to speak to the villagers? The villagers? Oh, right. They've been waiting for the Chocobo to answer their prayers. And now he's here to do that, with the Savior's help. Answer their prayers? Where'd you hear that? Ah, don't tell me. You've been talking to Garrett, haven't you? Tis true, he's a founder of the village, but a more indiscreet man I've never known. The fact is, we've all got our own scars. A man who wanders the world searching for a wife who everyone knows is dead. A man who still yearns for his life in the city. Folk who suffer anguish they cannot name. Garrett's taken it on himself to look after everyone and try to solve all their problems. But if you ask me, the burden he bears is too much for one man. He seemed cheerful enough. Was that an act? He's the last survivor of the intrepid band that founded this village. To him, we're all part of his family, and he's devoted his life to trying to keep Canopus Farms together. It's not an easy road he's chosen, and there have been plenty of sad times. But why am I burdening you with our tales of woe? I don't want you thinking you're responsible for having to save Garrett and the rest. You've done plenty for us just by finding the White Chocobo. People here are more hopeful than I've seen in many a year. I reckon you've saved a soul or two. But even if nothing has really changed, you mustn't think our woes are your responsibility. The vegetables they grow make perfect fodder for the chocobos. you with something today. Safe travels. Hello there. Thank you very much. As long as coal is gone, they can't grow any crop.
You could knock me down with a feather. Who'd have thought a stranger would get one over on the doctor and capture the white chocobo first? Get one over? You have a problem with it? No, don't get me wrong. It's just that the doctor has been doing nothing but hunt that chocobo for over a century. One hundred years. And I came along and snatched his prize away. I made him look incompetent at best. Yeah, but look, the chocobo's here. That's the important thing, and still alive thanks to you. Everyone in this village wants to see that chocobo get better, not just the doctor. I'm pretty much in charge of this village, so if you need any help at all, you just come and talk to me. Sound good? After the chocobo, the innkeeper Sorala in her field, even that man who fetched Dr. Gazal. They're so worried about him. The whole village wants to help him get better. You should feed that white chocobo of yours with some gazal greens. Normally we have a full crop, but with Father away I have no fertilizer to grow more. That's the last one, but you can have it. doing? Of course, I speak of the white chocobo that you're caring for. Perhaps you would like to feed him some of this fortifying milk. The truth is, one of my regulars wanted it, but I just can't stand by seeing that poor creature suffer. You take it. buckets, aren't they? The villagers, I mean. Everyone's been very kind and helpful. Well, you have to be out here in the wildlands. No one who tries going it alone survives very long. Just remember, if someone scratches your back, they'll expect some back scratching in return.
it look? Can you help the Chocobo? Well, the doctor says he's out of immediate danger, for now. But he needs quality fodder to get his strength back. Why, that is good news. I suppose that means you'll be wanting lots of gazelle greens then, won't you? I could give you lots normally, but we've just shipped off our latest harvest to the city, and we don't have any left. So it's no use waiting for the next crop, right? Actually, gazelle greens ripen ever so fast. They spring out of the ground right before your eyes, if you have fertilizer, that is. Father went off to the woods to collect fertilizer, but he still hasn't returned. He's been gone for days. But the woods aren't that far. Could something have happened? He does it all the time. He wanders off without a word and leaves me alone. That's why I'm not so worried. I know he'll be back, uh, eventually. The least he could do is tell you where he goes. It's not right. Forcing you to put on a brave front and pretend you're not worried. Oh, you could tell? Darn it. I try so hard to pretend it's perfectly normal that he just disappears. But the truth is, I'm scared to death about him. And you have no idea where he goes? What's his name? His name's Cole. He said he went to the woods to look for fertilizer. The Yag Woods, I mean. If you happen to see Father, would you tell him something? If I find a farmer called Cole, I'll send him on home. Father headed towards Yag, where the hunting woods lie. When you find him, tell him to bring some fertilizer home.
grow a new crop. Looking good. Cold? Drink this. It's a unique specimen, without a doubt. But it needs to eat what other chocobos eat. Even a legend can't live on air and admiration. Did you try offering him food again? Is he still refusing you? Yes, we've tried. But he kicks up a fuss loud enough to scare the sheep in Arius. It's you or nobody. I guess I'm stuck with him. finally settled down. Have you had a chance to talk to everyone here at Canopus Farms? People here, they understand the importance of helping each other out. It's the only way to survive. As long as that chocobo keeps eating, he's bound to recover sooner or later. The problem is, he'll only accept food from your hand. He doesn't need any more surgery. And he won't accept food from me. So it looks like I've done all that I can for him. If you need any help or advice, talk to 13. They can't grow a new crop. Girl there is my... As his vet, I've done all I can do for him. Now what he needs is good feed and the care of his chosen master. As 
long as coal is gone, they can't grow a new crop. We grow gazal greens right here in the village. There's a man and his daughter who have their own field. Cole and Sarala are their names. Maybe they have some to share. I haven't seen Cole in a while. He often wanders out of the village on his own and doesn't return for days. The wildlands are dangerous. The night is full of dangerous things. Good, good.
The night is full of dangerous beasts. Stay indoors and sleep instead. Hmm, you don't look well. He's on the road to recovery now. Talk to 13 and find out what's required next.